So if you've enjoyed a traditional summer Chesapeake crab feast this year, we don't have to tell you about the sticker shock. If you haven't seen, prices can go as high as 90 to 100 bucks a dozen. One reason for that, the population is down and crabs are just scarce. Which brings us to our Eco 9 report tonight. An invasive species in the bay and some recent science indicates this invader may be a factor in the crab crisis. Here's Scott Broom. Blue catfish. They're not from around here, but they're sure making themselves at home. People imported some from the Mississippi River with their native into the James River in Virginia in the 80s, and the blue cats invaded from there with a vengeance. And since 2018, the population seems to have exploded in the Chesapeake Bay region as the blue cats range spread during unusual periods of freshwater flooding, raising the specter that climate change is also part of the equation. It's a species that becomes really abundant really quickly. Here's biologist Joe Love with Maryland's Department of Natural Resources. And in some areas, it is by far the most abundant predatory fish. Now, in the Potomac River, the blue cats have become the river monsters of the Washington, D.C. region. The current Maryland record is 84 pounds caught near Fort Washington in Prince George's County. In Virginia, it's 143 pounds. And here is the issue. The invasive blue cats do not get that big without eating a lot. And it turns out that native blue crabs are on the menu. Late last year, some disturbing science added urgency to the issue. Dr. Mary Fabrizio and collaborators from the Virginia Institute of Marine Science determined the invasive blue cats ate 2.3 million crabs in a single 75 square mile study area near Fort Eustis on the James River. They're eating a lot of things. Uh, but there just happens to be so many blue catfish that even if all of them just eat one crab a day, that is a huge uh, impact. The news came as crab populations in the Chesapeake hit a record low and prices this summer hit record highs. Maryland's Eastern Shore Congressman Andy Harris is among those raising the alarm with federal officials during an online hearing. It's decimating our rockfish and crab population. Harris and wants to exempt Maryland seafood processors from inspections regulations that he says is standing in the way of turning more blue cats into fillets for your dinner table. Maryland authorities think the best way to fight the blue cat population explosion is to get commercial fishermen to catch and sell as many as they can. But will it solve the current crab crisis? Dr. Mary Fabrizio put that issue in context by pointing out the blue cats eat just about everything else, too. Uh, candy wrappers, ducks, birds, uh, pieces of metal. They eat ducks? Well, the duck was probably dead. Blue catfish are not completely innocent, but they're not the, the main thing that's happening to blue crab. There are other things happening in the blue crab fishery, so we have to take a look at that as well. But there's growing consensus that the blue cats are not helping, and they're gobbling up other valuable native species that states have spent years trying to protect and restore, like rockfish. Here's Dr. Martin Gary, Executive Secretary of the Potomac River Commission. You just have to wonder, you know, how much of an impact blue catfish may be having. So what can you do? Well, the answer is to eat more wild caught catfish. Fillets are on the shelves at retailers like Wegmans. The prices are affordable. The meat is good and healthy, according to all the biologists I talked to. For Eco 9, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.